there is a lot of experimental work uh, supporting the fact that changing the shear stress may induce uh, proliferation in the vessel lumen. So I, I believe that keeping the shape of the vessel as natural as possible is a positive feature. Like when you put a normal, uh, let's say, current DES into a, an, an angulated uh, artery or arterial segment, then you will straighten that segment. And this straightening will last forever, basically, which is not a very natural happening. And that will change shear stress, flow dynamics within the artery, and will cause neoatherosclerosis. So uh, with the dynamics, because the links in the long run will be detached, and some of this strain or stress on the, on the standard segment will be gone. So the vessel will return some of its curvature. So I believe that uh, this um, returning or regaining of the natural curvature or unstraightening of the standard segment will be beneficial for the patient as well as for the uh, physician. We go back to the initial vessel angulation, which will reduce the shear stress and therefore also potentially will reduce the event rate in clinical terms. So that is a fundamental change with this device compared to contemporary DES. You see the baseline, the result immediate after stenting and the follow-up at nine months or one year, and you see a restoration of the shape of the curve very similar to the baseline. This is an incredible advantage of having this device allowing the return to initial vessel angulation, which again, hopefully will translate into lesser clinical events.